Happy Tuesday, MO Attackers, and welcome to the Daily XP, bringing you up to speed with all you need to know in the MMO and MORPG world five days a week. I am Kirk, and today we will be discussing Marvel Heroes Worldwide launch, Firefall's last beta weekend, and a new Guild Wars 2 event, along with a huge update in Ellsworld. Let's get right into today's stories. Marvel Heroes has now launched worldwide. Starting today, Gazillion Entertainment's highly anticipated free-to-play action MRPG set in the Marvel Universe is available for players around the world. Marvel Heroes lets gamers suit up as their favorite Marvel superheroes, including Iron Man, Thor, Wolverine, Hulk, Captain America, and Spider-Man, as you battle through an extensive original story created by David Brevik and Brian Michael Bendis. David Brevik, president and COO of Gazillion Entertainment said, for over three years, we've been building Marvel Heroes to be an exciting, free-to-play, massively multiplayer action game, and we are ecstatic to finally put it in the hands of Marvel fans and gamers alike. At launch, Marvel Heroes will feature 21 superheroes, each with unique and extensive leveling systems, power trees, and equipment. Download Marvel Heroes today. Red 5 Studios wants you to join them in Firefall one last time before open beta begins. That's right, starting at 12 p.m. Pacific Time on Friday, June 7th, until 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, June 9th, they will be allowing anybody who registered for the Firefall Beta a chance to see the game that they continue to help create with your feedback. This means that you'll have the chance to battle against armies of Chosen or explore the ever-expanding world of New Eden. By taking part in the final Firefall Beta weekend, everyone will not only unlock an exclusive set of in-game night vision goggles, but you'll also have the chance to win an awesome Firefall prize pack that includes a Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition keyboard, Kraken Pro headset, a video card powered by AMD Radeon, and more. For more information on how to enter the contest, be sure to check out firefallthegame.com slash beta weekends. Today, Killer Combo launched a huge new content update that dramatically changes the way players play their free-to-play action MRPG Elsword. The field of battles allow players to engage in combat with more allies and enemies than ever before. Elsword will still retain instant dungeons and open world towns, but these new fields allow you to fight alongside other players, whether they are in your party or not. These fields of battle feature a huge amount of new space to explore and make the game world nearly four times larger, with 25 new and unique areas, hundreds of new quests, exciting treasures, and a total UI makeover. Elsword Online also launched a brand new website making it easier for players to access Elsword information. Starting on June 11th, Guild Wars 2 will be celebrating the Dragon Bash Festival. The festival will take place in-game where players can build and destroy giant dragon effigies for candy and boosts, compete in mini-games like Dragon Ball and MOA Racing, and win special rewards including exclusive weapon skins and holographic dragon wings. The event will run through June 18th in which there will be a grand finale that culminates in a lighting ceremony in Lion's Arch. For more information on the event, you can head on over to guildwars2.com. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. For more detailed information on these and other stories, please visit moattack.com news. Thanks again for joining us on the Daily XP. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can impress your friends with your newfound MMO knowledge. Until tomorrow, play free. Hello there, MO Attackers, and welcome to MO Attack's Top 10. This is our breakdown of the Emerald world to help you stay informed and playing the best. On this Top 10 list, we bring you the Top 10 Open Betas. We cover a lot of beta news over at MMOAttack.com, and we realize it can be...